Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I am a mixed media artist, crafter, all the things. So in today's video, we are going to be hanging out for a couple days as I prepare for another craft fair. I know I recently posted a couple of videos. It ended up getting kind of long, so it was a part one, part two, um, prepping for a previous uh, craft fair that I had done. And I wanted to make a couple of new items. I got inspired walking through Hobby Lobby. So I wanted to make a new item to put out on my table and then also a new design for a previous item. So I'm gonna be working on that this week. Everything else is already set to go. I still have it just all packed up in the office because it was just a couple of weeks ago. And if you are interested in my setup and things like that, feel free to check out those videos. But for now, we are just going to be making a couple of new items. So let me start off by showing you guys what I got at the store and then we will get to work. So to start with, I picked up these keychains. I saw them and was like, oh my goodness, I should make keychains for my table. <laughs> so I got really excited. I picked up two, two packages and then I saw this, it's like an opal uh, type vinyl and you can see, I think you can see it in the camera, like the colors when, when the light shines on it it kind of changes color a little bit. So I thought on the black that that would look so, so nice. So I'm going to work on a couple of designs to put on these and we'll see how they come out. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they come out nice and we can use them this weekend. But I'm really, really excited to try these. I, I don't know why. I When I originally saw these keychains, I was like, what's the big deal? But I don't know. Just seeing them in the store and just having a thought about them, I guess, just got me kind of excited. And then I also picked up these wooden uh, circles. I want to place a hole in them, use these ribbons. I got these frayed edge, um, unfinished edges on these ribbons and make little ornaments for the holidays, uh, but not necessarily like just for the holidays. You can maybe hang them like on your wall or something as decor. I don't want them to be too holiday specific, but I am hoping to do a holiday craft fair um, and then I will be able to make these for that, but I, I'm not signed up for anything yet. So we'll see how that, how that plays out. But that was my idea. If anything, I will make them to have just up on my shop if I don't make it into another, another craft fair before the holidays. But I thought they would look really, really nice. And I'm just not sure about the size. They are a little small. I didn't want them to be too big, so that was why I went with the small ones. But I'm hoping that they're not too small. So we're gonna have to make a couple and see how they come out. I'm not gonna be working on that this week. I have a couple of other things to do, but they will be something that I am doing in the future. So I'll probably film those as like a paint with me video or something. But for this week, I'm gonna focus on the keychains and one other thing that I'll, I'll let you guys know what I'm, what I'm working on. And then from Michael's, I grabbed this jelly printing or gel printing plate. I have seen these on Instagram and thought, oh my goodness, I need to try that. But I've not seen these anywhere. They've been sold out at my Michael's. So they actually had one when I went in there this week. So I grabbed it. Again, we're not going to be doing that this week, but in the future, we are going to play with this because I can't wait to get my hands on it. But I also ordered, just off of Amazon, these two brayers to go along with this because the only brayer that I have is for my block printing and I don't want to mix them. So I ordered two. I didn't order two. They came as two. It was like the same price for one or I could get two. And I mean, they seem pretty, pretty good quality. So... They came with two. I don't know if I really need to, but we've got them. So that's what I got. Is that all I really got? 
Yeah. Okay. And it's not too much, but a little bit of stuff to keep us busy for the next couple of weeks. And I'm excited to try this. I can't wait to paint on these. I'm excited for that too. And the keychains, I need to work on those. So those will probably be the first things that we get started on. So let's get to it. And here is a design that I've been working on for a couple of days now. I think I've got it right here. I finally have something that I like, but I had a few other elements that I had drawn and been playing with. I've been working for like a couple of days and moving things, resizing, putting things in, taking them away. I think this is it. So this will be for my glass tumblers. I wanted to make a few more for the October spooky season, so to say, but I didn't want it to be too Halloween and I still wanted it to have like my style to it. So I drew out these little ghosts and this one I love, this one I love. So I drew out these little ghosts and they came out really cute, I thought, but I was trying to not make it too Halloween in your face, you know what I mean? So I I think I like this layout. Let me know your thoughts, even though I'll probably have made them before this video goes live, but let me know your thoughts down below. I did have like a branch going across, but I just, I really thought that would be like a nice like spooky branch could be cool, but I couldn't get it to work. I don't know guys, I'm not sure, but I think this is what we're going with and I might sit on it a little longer <laughs> before I actually cut it out and put them on, but this is, uh, this is what I've been working on. So when I was showing you guys the things that I picked up from Michaels and Hobby Lobby, I forgot to mention these. I like had a feeling that I had a few more things because it seemed like I had gotten more and I did. I picked up two of these uh, wooden panels, 16 by 20 to go along with these. I think they're supposed to be like picture stands or maybe they're just to display your art. Um, but I grabbed those and then I also got from Home Depot, it was much bigger, but I, uh, it was bigger, but I had cut it down. It's like this 
it's not a J channel, but it's like a, they called it a J bead. It's kind of like a J channel, but it's used to like end off like tiling and stuff like that. But I had seen a video using just wood, some of those, some clips. I got some, I already had these, so I'm just going to use these. I'm going to try and get nicer ones, but um, anyway, you make a display for your art prints, clipping those onto the wood. I haven't opened <laughs> this yet because I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think I'm going to open these. I might leave this on here and just kind of see how it goes because with the wind and stuff like that, I, I am afraid it might be too flimsy, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to bring these with me on Sunday, but I'm also going to bring my original stands that I did show you guys in my old video. So I'm going to try that out and just kind of see how it goes. I'm not I'm not sure. They are definitely smaller, but I could make more of them. But the idea was that it could be taken apart and it's just this little bit of stuff to store, right? Like these are thin, everything can be taken apart. These are small enough, whereas these stands are quite large, quite heavy. So I thought it might be a good idea just to try it and kind of see how they hold up. I think for indoor events, it would be really good, but for outdoor events, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to probably try one or two of these on the table on Sunday. And I'm going to bring these also because if these don't work out, I'll just, I'll swap right back to those. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you. I also bought some flowers and things like that too. But um, as far as the art stuff, this is what I've got. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is craft fair day or street fair day. And we are pretty much all packed up and ready to go. I put all the tables and stands and chairs and um, all like the big things in my car last night so I wouldn't have to worry about it first thing this morning. Um, I'm trying to be out by like 8.30, uh, which is quickly approaching. So um, I just have like my small box of art prints, my glass tumblers to put in there. Um, I didn't want to put those in last night with like the temperatures going from like high to low. I, I don't know. I'm just afraid something is going to happen to them. So I always leave those indoors until the day, the morning of, and then, then I bring those out. But everything else is mostly packed. I've got just two, two, three little boxes to bring out with me this morning. I am going to pack a snack and a ton of water. And yeah, that's really it. I am ready to go, got my, my shirt on, and I think that's it. I don't think I have much else to do this morning, so I will see you guys at the street fair.
guys so we made it through the street fair it was really good i did quite a few sales and had quite a few casualties in the morning when setting up um i don't know if you again noticed i had shirts on the table because i forgot my clothing rack I was so ready to go because I was basically still packed up from the last one. So I guess when we were loading up the car the night before, I just completely forgot about it. So forgot the clothing rack, but luckily I had those stands that I was showing you. I bought some pieces to try to piece together like some quicker, easier uh, displays for the prints, which worked out perfectly because I was able to take prints off the table because usually I put them in the little in the little racks um, as I I think I mentioned in my previous video I kind of went over how I set things up so I was able to take them off of the table and put them onto the new stands along with the other bigger stands that I've been using so that worked out pretty well that I was able to make some space for them because there was no rescue to come bring me my stand <laughs> Um, I was a little disappointed because I have some like long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, and you couldn't really tell when they were folded. So I had to like explain to people like, oh, these are long sleeve, these are short sleeve, these are this cut, whatever. So um, I think I'm going to do another order of t-shirts because I want to sign up for another another like holiday market that's coming up so i want to order a few more shirts for that and make a few more shirts so i think i'm just gonna keep it kind of like this and this i'm gonna kind of simplify it not do a ton of colors i think i want to just kind of I, i'm still working through it but i think i want to just kind of have like a few set designs and that's it i don't i'm not a shirt shop so i do like them so i want to have a little something to put out there but yeah otherwise it went pretty well the ghost cups my goodness you guys so i made two and at first when i was weeding them if you weed cricket vinyl you know it's a pain in the butt it takes forever and this sparkly vinyl is a little bit harder it doesn't like cut as well as just like the plain flat vinyl so i don't know maybe i need to change a setting or something but anyway so it doesn't cut as well so it's kind of a pain in the butt to weed. I did the first two because then I ran out of vinyl. So I did the first two and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just have two. But once I got them on the glass, I was like, oh, these are so cute. I need to go get more vinyl. So I did. I went to the store, I got some more vinyl. And then the night before I was working on it to make two more glasses because that's what I had. And I cut out the vinyl on the Cricut. I started weeding. I put on a show. I'm weeding. And I just, it was so hard. I think it was a little bit thicker. I, I think it was just like a different, it's the same vinyl, but I think it just, that roll ended up being a little bit thicker. It seemed a bit more sparkly too. So I don't know, I don't know why that one was like that, but it was so hard for me to weed and to even see the lines. Like I had to like inspect it to even see the lines and like basically recut them with my my little weeding tool and I couldn't even separate the two uh, cups and when I finally got to a point where I could it tore through one of the little bats and I was like oh my god now this one is ruined but okay maybe we'll have three so I'm weeding the first one and I'm getting through it and then I get to like a little detail towards the end of the weeding and it just like it there was too small of details you couldn't see the lines and it just like pulled everything apart and it got ruined too so a couple of hours for no more glasses so i was so disappointed and then i store them in the boxes that they come in when i order them because there's nice like styrofoam all around them it keeps them safe i don't have to worry about them breaking when i'm bringing them back and forth it works out pretty well usually but i guess i didn't put it down all the way in one spot on one of the cups and it like lifted it up a tiny bit and I couldn't I you know we were there when I noticed it I couldn't fix it and so I was down to one one ghost cup all of that for one cup um but I did end up selling it and that was good so I was a little disappointed when I 
I wasn't able to have more of them out there because people were definitely interested in the tumblers and I wanted more to be available. But anyways, it, uh, it still went really well and I got to talk to a lot of people and, you know, just kind of talk about art and feedback and things like that. So it was good. And yeah, like I said, I think I want to sign up for another one for the holidays. I haven't yet, so I will keep you posted. Um, I think they're all like two day events though. So I need to make sure all my stuff is in order. So just trying to trying to just make a decision and pull a trigger on, on doing it. I, I don't know why I'm a little nervous too, but I am. But anyways, I am going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again and prepping for this street fair. And if you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!